Hi guys, uh, so it's Crimson Butterfly for Together We Are Wednesdays. Um, the topic for this week is uh, about anorexia nervosa specifically. Um, the intro to it is anorexia nervosa is the most commonly known eating disorder despite the fact that it's the rarest of all EDs. Um, among, also, among eating disorder sufferers, anorexia nervosa is considered the most legit and most desirable eating disorder. What do you think about this and why do you think it is? Um, First, I think the reason why um, anorexia nervosa is the most commonly known eating disorder is because there is a lot of information out there about anorexia nervosa, um, a lot of media coverage, a lot of documentaries have been done on eating, uh, on that specific eating disorder. Um, the other eating disorders tend not to get um, as much media coverage. I think it's probably because um, with anorexia nervosa it does have it does have the highest mortality rate, um, and so it it tends to shock people more, and the media tends to have this fascination with shocking people um, by what you know by showing these documentaries, you know to you know, gain ratings to be honest with you, that's what a lot of the documentaries are about. Um, and so there's a, there's a lot more coverage on anorexia, so a lot more people know about anorexia nervosa. They might not actually be that knowledgeable on it, but they've heard about it. I mean, there's, there's always misconceptions about it, but you know, people do hear about it more. Um, and I think also because um, because with the um, diagnostic criteria for diagnosing anorexia nervosa um, you have to have a BMI of less than 70.5 so you have to be very emaciated to be diagnosed it can, it's a lot more visual you can see someone with anorexia nervosa so it tends to be very a very visual thing whereas with the other eating disorders um, people can be of a normal weight or um, even overweight um, but you wouldn't tell that they could they would have an eating disorder which is definitely one of the myths about eating disorders that you know you, you can't tell by looking at someone if they have one um, also the, uh, I think why people desire um, anorexia nervosa uh, is I think because you know even though um, as we've mentioned and a lot of people say on the channel um, eating disorders are not about weight but that the weight losing weight becomes the control you know the the aim that takes a, away from the rest of, of your life so you basically you focus on that and I think people feel that um, they they're a achieving something because they're losing weight because that's their goal to lose weight um, with an, with most eating disorders so with anorexia to get that diagnosis of anorexia people feel as if they've achieved something you know um, also I think um, because our society has this obsession with that being thin means you're successful um, you're in control you have willpower to you know you're not just human you're superhuman because you can you know resist food and um you know you can keep going despite you know you're essentially wasting away um and i think you know it, it that's part of the reason why people desire it um in in the truth that you know you wouldn't want to desire anorexia nervosa or any eating disorder they're horrible things but that's what people um it becomes because they feel as if that if they get that anorexia nervosa diagnosis then um they've achieved what they wanted to do they you know they're successful they're superhuman they can do anything they can resist you know the basic needs of what it makes to be, it makes us to be human um Sorry, I apologise, my eye is really itchy at the moment. Um, so that's my thoughts on that, probably not very interesting. Um, the question of the week is, do you have any pets? If so, 
um, tell us about them. Um, I have two cats. Um, I have a grey cat that often um, is usually floating around in the videos. Uh, she's sitting down here. Around. This one's Pepper. Sorry, I've just got back from work, which is why I'm wearing my work uniform and my pajama bottoms. Very classy. This is Pepper. This is the second cat we we got. Um, this was my brother's ex-girlfriend's cat, um, which she's sad to get rid of. So we had her. She's um, grey. Um, she doesn't have a tail, and she was born without a tail. So this is Pepper. It's lovely. And the other cat is just over here. Sorry about my messy living room. That is Rukia. She's black and white and she does have a tail. Um, I think there's about a year, year and a half difference between Pepper and Rukia. Um, I think Rukia is about four. Yeah, about four now. And Pepper is probably about three. Um, so yes, uh, that's really pretty much about the cats. Um, they don't go out. Um, that's one thing. I we live in a flat, um, but they can. It's it's easy for them to get in and out if they wanted to, but they never do. I keep opening the door. Um, they do go out on my balcony. I have a little balcony bit um, outside, so they do go on that sometimes. Um, in fact, Rookie has actually jumped off the balcony once. She never did that again. <laughs> She nearly gave me a heart attack. Um, yes, uh, so Rookie was the first cat we, we got. She tends to be a bit more dominant, um, but they they tend to get on quite well. They're both girls. Um, uh, they tend to fight a, a little bit, but not more friendly fight. They don't really like fight fight. Um, they're both quite loner cats, to be honest. They quite happy just to like sleep and. You know, not doing an awful lot. Um, the interesting thing about Rookie is she she has, she has to have special food, which is expensive. So she has an expensive taste. Uh, um, Rookie tends to go more to my husband um, because he favours her a little bit more over Pepper. Um, Pepper tends to be around me a lot, and definitely um, when I'm in bed, she's always sleeping there every time she will sleep there. I can't roll over without rolling into her um, and I'm too nice to like push her up if I want to roll over so I will move myself so I don't disturb her too much. So yes that's uh, my cat. Um, I do want more cats um, in the future but um, hubby won't let me at the moment. Um, also I would like to get some dogs but um, I don't think it's practical living in a flat at the moment to have uh, dogs. Um, so yes, that's my um, my two cats. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week. Bye!